Right, so today we're going to try the Drift XL on the side of the bike. So it's looking back. But we're also, we are going to put the mic all the way through the bike. And I'm going to mic up by the exhausts. See if we can capture the sound. Okay, so we're wired up. We go under the fairing, under the seat, all the way around the back, down there, and there's the mic. So let's see how it records. Right then, so that's these two cameras on. Let's sync the audio. Right, let's switch on the XL. That's recording. Right, let's sync the audio on that. Because on this, I don't know if you can see, there's the microphone. Okay. Right then, so, we've got the XL fitted. I hope I've got the mount on properly, actually. I've just got off the phone as well to Stuart Thorpe. Because he's just had a Ghost XL, so I've just helped him set it up. So what we're going to do, we're going to go for a little road. Only a few little roads, just to see how... The audio works on this XL, and what I've done, I've connected it to a microphone, run the microphone through the bike, and the microphone sitting at the back by the exhaust. So we will see if we can get some good exhaust sound, or sound of the engine. Now I'm not a particular fast rider, or aggressive rider, but I'm hoping that sound of the exhaust will make me sound cool, and make me sound like I'm going really fast. Because I never do go really fast, so I'm going to try and not speak much, because obviously I'd imagine you won't hear me over the sound of the engine. Now the engine's mic'd up. If I do need to talk, what I'll do is I'll lower the audio on the engine, so you can hear me talk and I'll bring it back up. So I'm going to do a few little roads. At the end here, there's a tiny little dual carriageway, so we can get up to about 60, 70, just, if, blah, 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 just so we can see if we can hear the difference. So let's start the bike. And let's see what it sounds like. Um, I don't know at the moment how I've positioned the microphone, whether I'm going to get any wind noise or whether it works or not. So we shall see. Right, let's start the bike. And I will try not to talk. Right then, let's go.
Now on this part of the jaw carriageway here, I won't give it any welly, I'll take it just easy. And then when we come back up the other side of the jaw carriageway, I'll give it a bit of throttle action. See what it sounds like then. Right, let's go around the island and give it a bit of stick. Gotta watch this island here, there's always rubbish on the road. Hopefully that sounded all right, and it sounded nice and beefy. Now the exhaust on this VFR are completely standard, as far as I am aware. They are the ones that came out of the factory, so they're not they're not nothing special. So that's just the standard VFR 800 exhaust noise. I'm just hoping it works. I didn't just get a load of wind noise. So let's go back home. Let's have a look at the footage. Hopefully you'll hear that VTEC kicking. So it doesn't half sound good when it does. it road test complete so the camera's not fell off it's still recording microphone still there so I'm hoping that made me sound like Mark Marquez and I was giving it hell for leather then although I wasn't um, as you all know we're not mad riders but if ever we are out and you need to have a blast, we have Piggy with us. So Piggy's 
a fast rider so if you want to go fast you follow piggy if you don't want to you follow us right then let's get it back in i hope it worked and that is the sound of a stock exhaust on a honda vfr 800 2008 thank you see you on the next one bye for now Boom! Oh yeah!